This is a tutorial for the Pacific Image Power Slide 5000. The software that came with the scanner uh, has been installed before the scanner was connected. It's called CyberView X5. Connect the power slide and an external hard drive to your computer. You'll also want some way to clean the slides and some way to look at the uh, small writing on the slide. You'll also want some way to prop up the slide scanner so that it uh, feeds better. The slides go into the tray uh, upside down and uh, with the side toward the screen here's position 1 in the front, position 50 in the back. So they go in uh, upside down and uh, side toward the screen facing number 1. Uh, so here's some computer dust off from Costco. And, uh, We'll squirt the front and back. And then we load the tray. Here's the number one in front, uh, the open side facing the scanner, and up against the arm. And then we'll turn the, turn the scanner on and let it uh, warm up. The default is 1000 dpi, so the first thing I do in this active frame setting sidebar is set it to 2500 dpi. So here's the cyber view software. Um, going from left to right, this top box is selecting uh, positive film uh, slides. Uh, this is the pre-scan menu, you can choose to pre-scan your slides, a quick scan, not at full resolution, and they'll come up on the screen and then you can do things like crop and manipulate them, which is scanning the slide at full resolution that you've selected. This is uh, left and right arrows to uh, advance the tray forward or backward. This is uh, reload the magazine. Now we just put the magazine in so uh, it would make sense that you would tell it to that you just put a fresh magazine in and you want to load it. This is the current position. So if we look at the current position it says one. Oh, so uh, and this last menu item is you can go to let's see if we can go to zero. Let's try it. So, under scan, preference, positive, I'm going to uh, choose the location that I'm going to put the slides temporarily, which will be on the hard drive on this machine. Uh, I'm going to throw them on the desktop, and I'm going to give it a base file name. It will automatically go on every slide. I choose the type uh, file type. It'll scan either a TIFF or JPEG. Um, I prefer JPEG. That's it for this page. Advanced settings, I turn everything off. I've tried auto exposure, auto balance, I've tried all of these. They do nothing. Default scanning area is fine. And Magic Touch, <coughs> although it works, is no help. Uh, you have to go in and do them all by hand anyway because it doesn't do it right. So you might as well just turn them all off. Alright, so there we have our, all of our uh, preferences set up. So now we're going to tell it we want to scan from 15 to 50. <clears throat> Click on the radio button for set range. And we put in 14 to 50. 14. So, there it goes. It's uh, telling us it's moving. It says uh, it's going to move up to 14. The resolution is 2500 dpi and magic touch is off. So it scanned the 14. Now it's moving to 15. 
and it's going to scan that. Takes about one minute to scan each slide. As it scans each slide, they appear uh, here on the desktop. Um, once it's finished, they'll all be on the desktop, and I can simply move them to uh, whatever folder uh, fits that, that particular category. So after about an hour, the scans are finished. You can pull out your tray, and uh, your computer is populated with the results of the scans. So I'm doing triage on these uh, scans as they come out, and they wind up on the uh, desktop, and I open them with, in this case, preview, just Apple's included stock uh, document preview, and now I'll save this. Name, San Luis Obispo, and uh, save it. And by the time you do all that, the next scan is ready. Now, later on, you can come back and do further detailing, but um, that's the gist of it. So, good luck.